Hey guys, Fanwood Chiropractor here, Dr. Eric Leginski. Today we're going to talk about muscle skeletal risk factors for back pain. A recent research review set out to identify muscle skeletal risk factors that can be treated clinically before the onset of lower back pain. Investigators found 12 articles that evaluated muscle skeletal risk factors for the development of lower back pain which included a total of 5,000 participants. The researchers found a link between an increase in risk of developing lower back pain and restriction in side bending in the lower back, restriction of hamstring range of motion, and limited lumbar lordosis or curvature. These findings may allow clinicians to screen for and identify risk factors that could potentially reduce costs and improve the quality of life of many individuals by preventing development of lower back pain. Basically, we want to make sure that the spinal joints are functionally moving well, making sure that the muscles of the hamstrings, uh, of the lower back, of the legs, the lower extremities are flexible enough because this can contribute to back pain. As a chiropractor, we assess not only function uh, of the spinal joints, but also function of the muscles. In addition to making sure everything is symmetrical from left to right, balance is key in order for uh, you to avoid lower back problems. If you enjoyed this article, I, I encourage you to share it with friends or family members. Uh, also, uh, you can, for more information, you can always visit us at fanwoodbackrelief.com. Or if you have any questions particular to this or anything else, please give us a call. Uh, we're here to help. Thank you.